now available in paperback and e-reader from the author of Spinsterella, A Strange and Unusual Romance and Spellbound, The Darker Shade of Black Comes, from Legendary Magazine, and you get the conclusion of the Spinsterella trilogy in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers today. There are a lot of great indie comics that people are overlooking because they're not Marvel comics or DC comics. And one of the comics that people are passing by is Dan Mendoza's Zombie Tramp. Now, Dan Mendoza's Zombie Tramp is published by Action Lab Comics. And a lot of people would probably be put off by the title of Zombie Tramp, thinking that it would be just another softcore horror TNA book, a lot like the Bad Girl comics of the 1990s. However, if you take a look at reading this comic, you will be floored at how great this comic is. Now, Zombie Tramp follows Janie Bell, a character who I believe could give Bruce Banner a run for his money as a tragic figure. Now, Janie Bell has grown up in a trailer park, she's had a really rough life, and she was forced to become a prostitute. And as she became a prostitute, she was set up by a transsexual pimp who sent her to deal with this police officer's son. And this police officer's son bites her and turns her into a zombie. She becomes one of the street walking dead, and then she starts roaming the highways looking for her next meal and making efforts to keep whatever semblance of her humanity she has. And a lot of people will look at that premise, and they won't think much of it. But Dan Mendoza does amazing things with this premise. With this premise and the way he writes it, he gives us a comic that is on the level of Incredible Hulk comics from the Herb Tramp and Sal Buscema era because whenever I would read a Zombie Tramp issue, it would take me back to the days when I would read books in my brother's comic collection from the Herb Tramp and Sal Buscema era. The Janie Bell character, so well developed, again, she could give Bruce Banner a run for his money as a tragic figure. I mean, I remember some issues like the one where Janie took on the three witches, or the one where she had the Valentine's Day special, or the one story arc with her trying to break her father out of jail, where at the end of the story I could literally hear the Lonely Man music from the old Incredible Hulk TV show playing, because that's how compelling some of those stories are. They really, literally reminded me of the old Incredible Hulk show in some ways. They, he literally captures a lot of that old spirit of the old Incredible Hulk, and he fuses it together with um, concepts from old Grindhouse films from the 1970s. So when you read Zombie Tramp, there's a lot of heart to the stories, a lot of soul to the stories, stories, and a lot of spirit to the stories, and they're extremely compelling. I remember going to the library last week to start reading Zombie Tramp to see what was the series all about. And again, I was just shocked at how great the writing was. I was literally going through issue after issue every day and anticipating reading the next issue because the comics were that good. And that's the way good comics are. They, make, they have you anticipating reading the next issue and looking forward to the next issue. And the comics on Zombie Tramp have you that compelled to go pick up that next issue or looking forward to the next issue and the writing is that strong. I mean that's that's really compelling writing and one of the things that makes the writing so compelling is that Dan Mendoza goes out of his way to give you a rich multi-dimensional character in Janie Bell. Now one of the problems I always saw with superhero women was this. They never really give superhero women any sort of character development. But Dan Mendoza does give Janie Bell lots of character development. He gives her lots of depth and he gives her lots of personal excuse me, and he gives her a strong voice. And he does what I usually do in my own stories and he does not pull any punches as related to the heroine, or in this case the anti heroine, because Janie Bell is an anti hero just like the Incredible Hulk, someone who reluctantly goes to do the right thing in spite of what's going on. And one of the things that's really thought-provoking about this series 
is that you have this zombie who has to eat people in order to live, but we get this commentary on the people that she's around, and we wonder about all these low-life people if they if they're the monsters or if she's the monster, and that's really something that he puts in the stories that really makes you think. I mean, when I was reading these different stories about these different people, you wonder if she's the monster or if they're the monster, and that's something that, that's really another thought-provoking piece as related to the zombie tramp stories, and it was really something that they used to do in old-school Incredible Hulk with Bruce Banner, The Incredible Hulk, and Thunderbolt Ross, because Thunderbolt Ross used to be a real, he used to, the real monster used to come out of him in his obsession with taking down the Hulk, and this is what I saw parallel with Zombie Tramp and with her own struggles with her own humanity in this series. There's a lot of stuff here related to the human condition and a lot of heart and soul in these stories, and after I was reading most of the run of Zombie Tramp, I had to ask myself a question. Why isn't Dan Mendoza writing The Incredible Hulk? Because the way he writes Zombie Tramp shows me he's qualified to write The Incredible Hulk. He's the man who should be writing a run of Hulk comics because he captures a lot of what a good Incredible Hulk run would have in Zombie Tramp. Zombie Tramp is... It's, it's one of the best comics out there. And a lot of people, they are not picking it up because they are, I believe, afraid of the premise. But this is a great series. And yes, there is nudity. There is graphic violence. But it all fits into the story organically. And I don't see how it's really that offensive when I read DC Comics where you had Black Adam literally smash a guy's face in and the people are getting mutilated everywhere. Zombie Tramp's violence, if you compare it to what's in DC these days, isn't that bad, and DC is saying they're making regular comics, and this is a horror comic, but they, but Nan Mendoza does an amazing job with this comic, and I believe a lot more people really need to pick this book up, because it's comic books like this that really need people's support, and it's books like this, I believe, that could revive the comic book industry, because everything in Zombie Tramp is what Mariko Tamaki said she wanted to do with the She-Hulk back in 2017 when she created the new Hulk comic with the gray She-Hulk. Dan Mendoza was doing it back in 2014 with the zombie tramp ongoing, and he was doing it so well, it literally blows the doors off anything Marvel has produced in the last two decades. You need Anyone who writes heroines, you need to take notes because Mendoza really gives you a clinic on how to write strong heroines with Zombie Tramp because he pulls no punches and he creates a full character transformation arc with this series. This is how you write strong heroines and this is how you write a book for, for, for a great comic. This is what old school Marvel used to be. When you read Zombie Tramp, you're going to read a comic that was what old school Marvel used to be. Um, and when you read Action Lab comics, you're going to read comics that used to be like old school Marvel Comics because this, they have a, a really cohesive universe, they have cohesive storytelling, and you literally see a comic that is a great comic, and it's a, com a series of comics that I can honestly highly recommend. I give my highest recommendation to Dan Mendoza Zombie Tramp, and you really need to pick this series up, and you need to go to the back issue bins to pick it up because this is compelling reading, and it's a great comic, and you really need to share this comic with other people. Now, you can pick up Zombie Tramp singles at your local comic shop, and you can pick up Zombie Tramp trades on Amazon.com or at your local comic book store. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.